you know, there's a murderer one time. I don't no, want that. No, 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 no. This is him I don't himself. want that. Now, no. how many times he mentioned the singular if God, the Bible text alone. The, the, the Bible text will test about God and the, the church singular. of God and Christ is looking at you, Smith. Yes, man. You're Look, doing yes, a poor sir. job oh. representing them. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're you going to talk, talk that sir. Bible talk. Look, the best way to handle Gino in a debate is to give him plenty of scriptures so that he be without excuse, never address his audience, and conclude by telling him you gave him plenty of scriptures, that he's blind leading the blind, okay, and that you will be releasing commentary on the heresy that he spewed today, and then you just leave, okay? That's the best way to debate genogenics, okay? But you got to know the scriptures dealing with this guy. That's why for those of you who've been asking, why do I have so many videos on Geno Jennings? It's because Geno Jennings is very polarizing, okay? He's not your traditional false prophet, okay? If I was clout chasing or being weird or creepy or whatever, and I would go after someone who has a bigger audience, like a T.D. Jakes, like a Joel Oystein, okay? But these guys do not use the scripture. Therefore, that makes them less dangerous, actually. Okay? They don't speak nearly as much scripture as Geno Jennings does. That's why I uploaded the, for the truth that he did tell. For the sake of rightly dividing the word of truth, I uploaded the truth in the messages that he spoke. Okay? But I'll add this. It's even better to debate Geno Jennings without an audience. Just debate him in a quiet room at a round table, okay? The receipts that I've provided in these documentaries is better than having a debate with Geno Jennings where there's limited time because there are so many things that you'd have to comb through and explain and that, that, that makes him a heretic. And you may not have enough time, especially with the way that he talks and he has to get out his points. You see what I'm saying? So rather than and certainly waiting on sending him an email that he'll never respond to, you see what I'm saying? So why go through all of this red tape when the best way to rightly divide the word of truth is to give you a documentary. That's far better than a debate. You won't get all that. You won't have enough time. Okay, as I'm going to express in this video as well. And I'm going to put in the link in the description box the other videos. Okay? Okay, so this guy, uh, Elder Smith, he's one of the elders, I believe, in the Caribbean or Jamaica. Uh, or uh, one of the Church of God in Christ. I'm not sure where he is from, but it seems like he's uh, from the Caribbean islands. But this guy is an elder for the Church of God in Christ. Now, this novice preacher makes a huge mistake. Now, notice in this video, in these clips, as I I'll pause now and then uh, to show you, notice the mistake that he makes trying to address the crowd while Geno Jennings talks over him. And Geno telling him to sit down. And all of these things, he's pointing in his face, crowd in his face, yelling at him, okay, talking to him like he's a child. Now, I want you to be, be aware of a master manipulator, okay, a cult leader. These are hand-selected. This guy is not uh, a nationally known or internationally known. Okay, he's not a big fish in, in a small pond even. You see what I'm saying? This is, this is someone, you just look, I'm looking at his body language, looking at his eyes, and how he continues to try to address a big audience. This is someone who's not used to the stage. And Geno Jennings, being a bully, being a master manipulator, can picks this type of guy. Okay, so he can intimidate him and make an example of him, and really what he wants, as I'll highlight later, is the overseer, 
because that's a bigger platform. You see what I'm saying? So now he's clout chasing so that he can expand what I've called the Geno Jennings brand, or should I say the Ego Jennings brand, because that's the, the, the name that I've given him. He's Ego Jennings, okay? So this is all a psychological ploy that he can always command his men to make him sit down like he did against uh, Mr. Vegas, okay? Notice how this novice, his tone of voice softens when Geno Jennings rebukes him or, or gives him a command or yells at him, okay? This is a Jezebel spirit in this man, okay? So this guy, like many of Geno Jennings' opponents, they should have never accepted the terms and conditions of the debate. They should never give never give Geno Jennings an audience and a reader who's rooted in him. Okay? The, the, the brother Williams is going to read with enthusiasm for Geno Jennings if he reads for his opponent at all. You see what I'm saying? This is a guy who's been with this man for over, over 35 years. He's been reading for him. Okay? Geno Jennings himself is is a professional speaker. Okay, so he's he's has 35 plus years, 40 plus years of experience speaking for two hours or longer, okay, in big audiences. You see what I'm saying? So if you notice this novice, often he keeps looking towards the crowd to support him instead of looking this bully directly in his eye. The Godhead. That's what, what I'm telling you. All I ask okay. you to do, Listen, being that you observe. observe it, we observe it. We want to observe okay. it. Don't we, folks? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But we want to Thank observe you. it. Thank you. Thank Would you. Would you please yes. jump us out yes. there God. by God. getting the scripture, God. scripture. so we Not can observe the chapter and, and the, the verse, verse. that Let's Let's says, go. No, God no, it's not say that. It has, won't say that, sir. It won't, it won't say it like you said it. It's not gonna say it like that. We having the respect. Same I'm an elder, sir. Respect. I'm an elder. Respect. Find the scripture. Find it. Find the scripture. Okay. Notice here, he keeps holding his hand up to quiet a crowd that was pro Gino from the start. Okay. This is why Gino uh, uh, agreed to this debate. Not because this guy, the, actually the guy is speaking the truth on the dynamics of how he just doesn't do a good job of providing the right scriptures and his tonality, his presence isn't bold enough to deal with this spirit in this man. Because it's a spirit in Geno Jennings. Okay, so Geno wants his overseer. Okay, because he wants his that platform. Is not the that's not the mission. That's mine. That's not the mission. That's my mission. That's right. My mission is to take every piece of listen. damnable doctrine listen. and seek listen. my biblical teeth my and sword and listen. rip it to shreds. My That's listen. my mission. I, I, I can't over talk. I listen. rip it to shreds. Listen. That's not my mission. That's mine. Amen. That's, okay, can I talk? That's not, if I was going to come down here I, to come to try to, to get a victory here. That, that's not my mission. That's the wrong thinking. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong. I would have been an immature minister to come down here to think like that. Well, you want to know something? I'm a, I'm a mature minister, okay. and I okay. think like that. Okay. I'm a mature minister, okay. and I okay. think like that. Okay. I'm a mature minister, okay. and I okay. think like that. Okay. Listen, Amen. check this out. I, I want you to listen to this. So the reason why we severed ties with the oneness was they taking salvation away from people. How can you say you believe in one listen, and then talk about you seven li ties? Listen, listen. Do you believe listen, in one? We seven ties because of that statement, and that makes y'all, that makes it a cult. Okay, that's the best thing that he's addressed. <laughs> that it's a cult. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 8. All right. There is one alone. That has what? There is one alone. And? And there is not a second. Oh. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. 
Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Hey, who's the second? So John revealed it. Ecclesiastes. The Logos, the Son, Jesus. The divine Son, Jesus. John revealed it. See, what he using philosophy. Vain philosophy. Hey, who's the second? So John revealed it. Ecclesiastes. The Logos, the Son, Jesus. The divine Son, Jesus. John revealed it. The Logos, the Son, Jesus. Again, this novice keeps making the mistake trying to rally someone else's crowd and he gets no applause notice he gets no applause but the echo of his own voice and, th and this guy he, he he's more soft-spoken but he battles with pride as well he want he really really desperately wants the applause of man and i'm i'm quite certain that that geno jennings probably had one of his media representatives go and interview this guy before meeting him uh, personally himself before they ever even agreed geno jennings is a man of order he does things in order so he, he wants to 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 size up this guy to see if he's someone that he he can bully that's why he didn't accept <laughs> the debate with bishop nathan yell but they got you geno jennings fanboys and fangirls come on here uh, well you're jealous of him why would i be jealous of a man that's leading many to hell i mean you look at his doctrine yes i talk about his pride but even if it was just his pride alone but he just spoke the truth then there wouldn't be as much to talk about but yeah you, instead of you focusing on what is it that I pointed out? The fact that this man, he's on record, is saying that he's done more works than, than the Son of Man, than, than Jesus Christ himself. He said that himself. Okay, he's also on record, again, stating that Christ was not God on earth, that he had to take time away from not being God. God has never stopped being God. You see what I'm saying? So this this guy, Mr. Smith, whom he's debating, debating, is just trying to recover his ego at this point, okay? Because Gino wants to make sure that he never has the confidence to preach ever again, okay? That's the evil spirit that works in this man. It's a Jezebel spirit, okay? And this is also why Gino Jennings, is, as much as he's expanded internationally, the truth of God. You notice how he's the only one that ever preaches. Notice that. It's a, it, this is what a cult is. Okay? It has to be all about genogenics. And look at how Geno is looking at him. Like, don't make a fool of yourself. Before he came down to the earth. Am I right? I agree. Thank you. Yes and no. Oh! Oh, let me show you. Oh, oh yeah, show me. Let me show you. Yeah, thank you. Let, let me help you out. Jesus is God. I agree. Uh huh. And He always exists. He exists before His body did. Right. Yes, yeah, true. Then it. Then it. All right. I agree with you 100. percent Jesus is on the throne, and He always exists. Yeah. Was but He always yes. on the throne? Oh yes. Yes. Because Jesus is everlasting. Okay. But his body wasn't. That which was on the throne was not begotten. Okay, that's heresy. Because before the foundation of the world, Christ was slain. <laughs> Scriptures say he was, is, and is to come. That means that he's never stopped being God. Okay? He's never stopped being God. He, at any point in time, he could have aborted the mission to save, to redeem man. Okay, that's how you know he wasn't a normal man. Okay, you can't say the spirit that was in him was God and that the man himself was not God because a, a man cannot just check out. You try to check out of here, you in some big trouble. Just check out by your own merit, by your own decision. Okay, Christ. I don't know if many people know this. Christ 
had the option to just return back to heaven, return back to the Father. It's a great mystery. Okay, it's a great mystery. He's never stopped being God. Okay, he said, if you have seen me, you have seen my father. The, the, the Pharisees wanted to stone Christ because he was saying that he is God. Okay, Luke 24, 39. He was, he was, is, and he is to come. That you don't believe he took on the body. That, no, that he created him by put himself in it. No. Oh, you said you don't believe that. that, that uh, we don't believe that. Right, y'all yeah. don't believe that. We I'm going to show you in the yeah. Bible that he did make a body and he did put himself in it. He put the son in there? No, he didn't put the son in there. Oh, no, no, what, Aaron, that's a, ain't Jesus the son? Yes. Okay, so then he put the son in the body? No. Why? no. Oh, oh. No, no, I didn't say that. No, no, I'm saying, why he didn't put the son in? Ain't the body the logo? Ain't the, the spirit no. the logo? Listen. Ain't Jesus the word? Let me explain to you. And he's the word? I'm explaining to ain't you the word why. Came flat? Okay, so this novice, Mr. Smith, is correct. He's the, actually the winner of this debate. The word became flesh okay the, the lagos okay god didn't put anything in the body okay this exposes that false doctrine god didn't put anything in the body the word became flesh okay god manifested himself the the, the thing is is that we're bound by time we're bound again in these temporary meat suits that's not the case with God. He's him being an eternal being. He doesn't have to go through step by step process. Okay, now you're a child. Now you're you see that the fact that Christ was worshipped. Then, according to Geno Jennings' doctrine, Christ, as a child, the wise man seeking him out to worship him, would have been some form of idolatry. If the man himself was not was not God. And remember, Christ also had the power on earth to forgive sins. A man doesn't have the power on earth to forgive sins. So he's teaching you another Jesus. He's teaching you the, really the same thing that the Muslims teach, that Jesus was just another man. He was just a prophet. That's okay. The reason why he didn't put the son in the body, uh -huh. because the son was the body. Right. <laughs> let me show you. Twist it up. That, Twist it up. Let, let me show you. Amen. Brother Smith, there's no need to put a son in the body. You got the Holy Ghost. Yes, I do. That's Jesus in you. Jesus in me. Is that right? Yes. So if Jesus in you, got the spirit in you, uh -huh. it's not a son in you. That's right. We shall abode in you. That's what the, the text in John. Is that a son in you? We, God in the Father, yes. God the Father in the Son, we shall abode in you. All right. That's what the text says, right? Let's see we. the son in That's you. what it said. Let's see the let's son see, in you. Let's see, we'll let's see what the son consists let's of. First Follow Romans, me. Romans chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 3. I want to help my church of God in Christ brother out. Amen. He's somewhat on the right track. Somewhat. Oh. But, but the church of God in Christ really ruined him. Yeah. Mm. All right. And, and, and I want to say to your bishop, don't bother him when he go back. He's trying. Mm. You should have came here. That's right. <laughs> All right, listen at this. Romans chapter 1 and that... Okay, again, this is why he should not have taken this debate. This novice makes another mistake, bowing his head to the crowds applauding Gino belittling him okay he's just there for the crowd the crowd makes or break him and you gotta understand the crowd is sick they're sick with a sinful disease of man worship so why even bother you're not gonna be if they make the decision it's man who who plants the seed and God gives the increase okay they're never gonna in one debate Gonna just all of a sudden come up under from the spell of Geno Jennings. You have to be be harmless as a dove and wise as a serpent, and do things decent and in order. You don't go debate him in front of his his audience. Okay, he pays the bills there. Okay, this guy is like a god to these people. 
Okay, he's exalted himself. He's done a skillful job of not making it as obvious, but to the trained, discerning eye, yes, it is obvious. He's made an idol of himself. Verse 3. Everybody keep quiet. Romans chapter 1, verse, and verse three. 3. Concerning his son. I want to deal with the body and took on everything. Right. All right? Concerning his son. All right, listen. Concerning his son. His you son. agree? Is recognized ownership. Yes, sir. So his son was be talking about God's son. Mm -hmm. Right. Concerning his son. Jesus Christ our Lord. What? Which was made. Wait a minute. Which was what? Which was made. When a thing is made, it got to have a beginning. It ain't talking about the spirit. No. The flesh, which was the body, was made. Which was well, made. Which was made of the seed of David. The spirit of God is not of the seed of David because when you're of the seed of David, you descend from it. Right. God have no beginning. That's right. And God have no ending. That's so, right. which was made of, of the, the seed of David. According to what? According to the flesh. He was the son. According to what? According to the flesh. He was Mary baby. According to what? According to the flesh. All right. When God Almighty went to the house of David in order for us to be redeemed, some blood had to be shed. Uh -huh. And the spirit, which is everlasting, mm -hmm. perpetual, and eternal, didn't have no blood. Would mm -hmm. you agree? Yes. A sacrifice had to be offered. He said, sacrifice or offering that wood is not with a body. That's Hast thou prepared? prepared for me. Yes. Is that what he said? Yes, sir, sir. You just say he didn't make a body. Okay. I say he didn't sacrifice and offering. You say he didn't he put himself in it. Hold it right. Okay. The son was made of the seed of David, but the scriptures also state, great is the mystery of godliness. Okay. It's a great mystery. He was made of the flesh, but he was also slain before the foundation of the world. It's a great mystery. His ways are higher than our ways. So you cannot, just because you cannot understand it, doesn't mean that it's his reality. Okay, it's his glory. It's the way that God has manifested himself. He did so also in the Old Testament. We saw that angels were able to appear as human beings. God was able to appear as a burning fire before Moses. Okay, God can manifest himself however he may please. That does not mean he stops being God. Okay, and there's a mystery to three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Solid, liquid gas, the body, the soul, and spirit. Man was made in God's image. Man has a body, a soul, and a spirit. Okay. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Okay. There are three who bears witness, who bears record in heaven. Okay. There's a mystery of three. Okay. You can see Gino, Gino keeps putting his hand on his shoulder. Okay. He does this to display soft power, which is, is used in diplomacy during a debate, okay? But earlier, he threatened with hard power, you know, that you, even, you either get that scripture or sit down. You see that? That's a power play, okay? He, he does it sometimes half-jokingly, okay? This, all, this, all this guy is is one who's learned how to master an audience, okay? How to pull the strings of an audience because he's been doing it for so long. Thank you, Pat. Yes, you can conclude. Let's hear the conclusion. Truth of the old God, man. saints of God, I thank you for this opportunity. You agree? You got a great apostle here. Give him a hand, please. Like I said, I wasn't sent by the Church and God in Christ. I came out of my own volition. And I wrote the letter to, to harm in my skills. And really, I am very impressed with this man. So is my, is my, is my debating skills flawed, or do you take that back? I take that back, sir. <laughs> Thank you for being here, brother. God bless you, brother. God bless you. All right, disconnected microphone. microphone, please.
this brother just had to address the audience one last time by getting Geno Jennings' permission. It's as if his sole purpose for coming to the debate was so that the audience and Geno Jennings could hear him speak. Okay, he's full of pride as well. You can tell. I'm just looking at this guy's body language. He keeps holding his hand up. I mean, he just keeps doing this. I don't know if it's because of nervous, if he's nervous, or if it's a combination of pride, uh, uh, folly, and nervousness. Okay? But he keeps holding his hand up to silence the audience. And he keeps saying, listen, listen. He keeps looking at the audience as if he's prepared a speech or something. Okay, I don't know what went on in his imagination prior to accepting this debate, but he made himself look very foolish. And he did not represent the holy word of God. He shouldn't have taken this debate so that the word of God is, is not in vain. Okay, it's not a, a game. The word of God should not be used for folly or for the pride of a man. He should have sat down with his overseer and said, look, if we're going to debate him, let's not debate him in front of his audience. You may say, well, Pastor Jennings, you had the home feel advantage. All right. OK, don't give this Geno Jennings character who is demon possessed. Okay, for those of you who cannot see that this dude is demon possessed, okay, the scriptures state that Satan may appear as an angel of light. Okay, just because he spoke in some truth don't mean the rest is not leaven. Okay, if somebody says that they have enough pride to say that they've done more works than Jesus Christ, think about that. Think about that. He twisted that scripture, and many of his followers came on this channel commenting, talking about what well, the scripture does say. What you have to couple that scripture with the scripture that says all men's works are as filthy rags. Okay, you have to couple that with uh, Philippians two, verse twelve and thirteen. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Christ was saying that, knowing that when he went back to the Father and he left his Holy Spirit, it would be him doing the works in you. So it, it, only someone who is filled with pride would say something like that. The fact that you even had to say it, even if it was true, but someone like Apostle Paul would have the right to say that. And even he didn't even say that. Because it's not, no, no man has ever done more works than Christ. The scriptures state that the books cannot contain what he has done. Okay? So that's how you know he's full of pride. Then he has the nerve to say that Christ was not God in the flesh, that he was just a man. And he couldn't do anything on his own if it's, if, as if Christ was just a regular man. You see what I'm saying? It's no doubt in my mind that Geno Jennings at this moment, he's, he's, he's bound for hell. Okay, I'm very confident that that's where, if he died today, that's where he would be going. But back to Mr. Smith. This guy should have never taken this debate. You don't give Geno Jennings an audience, as I stated earlier, okay? But this guy wants to be Martin Luther King. He keeps addressing the crowd, raising up his hand. He, as if he's Malcolm X. You're no Malcolm X, brother. You should have set, set your butt at home, okay? And pray. And if Geno didn't accept the roundtable debate, you should have swallowed your pride and not carry your black butt over there to debate him because you're making the word of God look bad and you're misleading people by doing that. So here he is one last time, man. Man, I addressed the crowd. 
That's that was his sole purpose for coming there to debate genogenics, so that he can be Martin Luther King or Malcolm X. Okay. Anyways, that's all I have. Don't let your flesh write checks that your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. But I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. Your man's game. Send up.